Hi guys, welcome to our video 2.1, Introduction to the Periodic Table. So first we're going to do a brief history of the periodic table. And the first person to really put together what's similar to the modern periodic table is this guy, Dmitry Mendeleev. He was a Russian chemist, and like I said, he was the first to arrange them into a table. He arranged them according to atomic mass. So it's very similar to what we have today, but there were some issues with it. The, uh, there were some gaps, as well as some of the things were out of order when you look at the reactivity. So then, a number of years later, Henry Moseley proved the existence of protons and rearranged the periodic table according to atomic number. And here you can see it's very similar to what you see hanging in the classroom today. All right, let's take a closer look at some stuff here. So when we look at the stuff in the periodic table, and this is just a little piece out of the periodic table in your reference table, so it should look very familiar to you by now. All right, so we're just going to review some of the things that are here. So the atomic mass, right, it's the weighted average atomic mass. We have the atomic number, right, gives the number of protons and electrons. And don't forget that's unique to each element. Each element has its own atomic number. And here we have the electron configuration, shows how the electrons are arranged in their shells. And remember, you can count how many numbers are here, and you'll see how many shells there are. Now, something we haven't used much is these common oxidation states, the common types of either ions or oxidation state in a covalent molecule that uh, these elements will form. For the most part, you're going to use the top one, but there will be times where the others become important. And there's going to be rules you're going to learn that's going to help you with that. Okay, so basic periodic table can kind of get divided here. All right, so when we look at the periodic table, right, all of these, including these, right along here, most of the periodic table are going to be metals. Now most of these metals, or all of these metals, are going to be solid at room temperature except for right here, mercury. Now the non-metals, go with a different color now, are non-metals, which is going to include hydrogen, Helium, as well as all of these, except most touching the stairs. There we go. All of these are going to be non-metals, and there's going to be some solids, some gases, and there's going to be one liquid at room temperature, which is bromine. Okay, so the nonmetals are either gases or brittle solids. All right, we'll talk more about that as we go, except for bromine, which is a liquid. And we're also going to go over, coming up soon, these ones touching the staircase here are going to be metalloids. And we'll go exactly over which ones. All right, question time. So now it's just the stuff you've done a lot of these things here already. Okay? So you should be able to answer these easily. This I just told you. This was just in your notes. And we should know this based on some past stuff we've done. So nice and easy question time. We'll go over it in class tomorrow. All right. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys at school.